Singapore's humor is heavily based on differences and cultures of local people. Singlish is one of the central topics. Bottle can, can cannot. Jokes around Singlish are unbeaten if you want to make Singaporean laugh or a foreigner living in Singapore for some time. Though we all find these jokes hilarious, the local context makes them less understandable for other countries. Probably Malaysians as the closest neighbors get the jokes. Also Chinese and Indians who traveled to Singapore and spent much time here. For the rest, it's hard to understand. But at the same time, several topics would apply to almost anyone in any country and they also heavily used in Singapore. Sex, race, government. Correct, I said government. So let's dig deeper into Singapore's humor. I asked one of my favorite stand-up comedians in Singapore, Hirzi, about the local humor. What do you think the features of Singapore, uh, like compared to other countries? I think Singapore's humor is an eclectic mix of cultures and subcultures. So you get not just different ethnicities, but you get different demographics of people, making fun of other people. And that's fun. You, you know what's the best place to find all your jokes? Be in a train. Your resources are left, right, center, especially at the handicapped seat. <laughs> and so those aunties just rushing to see. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like any pressure, like being a comedian in Singapore? I don't feel pressure except financially. I think you all should pay your comics more. All right, but uh, on the other hand, like if you compare with the with the states, where's the cancel culture culture that we just talked? So you you need to be more careful. Maybe even like if you are a comedian in the states right now, comparing Singapore. I. <laughs> I think it's harder in Singapore because it's so small. Whereas in the States, if you say something, you're bound to get your own tribe supporting you. And the freedom of speech in the States is really big. So like people defend those things. But in Singapore, if you mobbed by one, you're mobbed by the army. And then people will be like, I don't know if I want to hire this person next time. But I say, please just hire. We will learn. Next show we know. <laughs> If you compare Singapore humor to British or American, I think it's more similar to the American one. British comedy is more based on self-humiliation. If you watch Monty Python or the British office, you feel it. American humor is more optimistic, so to say, still more aggressive. And it touches a variety of things like sex, race, government. And that's what is actually similar to the humor in Singapore. I was positively surprised when I came to a stand-up comedy show for the first time. That was at the Mary Lyon Club. The jokes were open, aggressive and covered lots of controversial topics, which you don't expect in Singapore, you know? Since then, I have seen a lot of Singapore comedy shows. We've been to the Sharul Channa, Kumar, Deepak Chandran and other shows. And what I realized, the best way to crack up Singaporeans and foreigners who live here for enough time is to bring up the melting pot. Singapore has a unique situation as different ethnics live next to each other and influence each other. I like the definition of Singapore from the French guy who's been in Singapore for like 40 years. Singapore is not rajak, the local mixed salad dish. It's not mixed, never been like that. It has always been a place of meeting all these different ethnic groups existing next to each other. They existed side by side, worked and lived side by side. And that is Singapore. So the melting pot jokes are inevitable in Singapore. Do you think it's like so many racial jokes in Singapore? Because it's a nature of the country, because it's a mix of cultures and race. See, why won't you talk about the thing that is the most obvious, right? Like I think to avoid any racial content as a comedian is just devoid of your nature as you know someone who would reflect society's uh, issues. So I say do it, talk about race. Uh, but just you gotta be smart about it. I say don't step over the line, but step on the line. That's like, you like that? You like that, Daddy? Am I in my spot? Am I in my spot, Daddy? That's the best spot. Yeah, yeah and you gotta say Daddy. It, it always makes you sound more polite. Okay, Daddy. One of the most obvious topics for a stand-up comedy in any country is complaining about the government's actions and making jokes around it. Funny enough, most of my foreign friends who never been to any stand-up shows in Singapore before were really surprised by harsh jokes about the government. Funny that they usually these jokes followed by other jokes about how a comedian will be jailed or sent out of Singapore after making the first jokes. Of course, political satire is not on the level like in the US, but it's already 
be pretty cool to see a high level of freedom of speech, at least on the comedy stage. Uh, what are the favorite topics for comedy here? Favorite other favorite topics of comedy? The government, it's always so fun. We have a, a, a cute government, I think. Like, if you want to just make fun of them, go for it. Just don't say anything defamatory, you'll be fine. Make fun of their mannerisms, make fun of their politics. Just make fun. Yeah. Life is short. Laugh at everything. And call them daddy. <laughs> Do you like that, Daddy Lee? <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> I noticed that there is one topic that is excluded from Singapore's scope of comedy. It's religion. Some touch it slightly, but it's definitely not the most popular theme. I think Singaporeans are a bit afraid and uncomfortable to joke about it, even if they find something funny. Once I ask my subscribers here on this channel, what's the no-no topics to laugh about in Singapore? And most mentioned religion. But let's ask here's it. Do you think there are any no-no topics? No. You don't want to joke like never? No, there's, there's no holes but uh, when you're a comedian. I think everything is a DMZ. It's a demilitarized zone. Talk about anything, talk about everything. Just be responsible with how you deliver it and why you're saying it. I think that's so important. How you do it and why you do it. I'm not responsible for how an audience takes my messages but I'm just responsible for raising them anyway. So that's a comic's role. I just say what the society already is. You gotta think. It's not my problem. In general, I agree with Hirzi that you can joke about anything and no one should censor the humor except comedians themselves. It's letting off steam for people, which helps a lot, especially during this challenging time. The only indicator that should exist if it's a good joke or a bad joke. And the latest should be banned. Actually, I also noticed there are no popular roast uh, type of shows like in the US or Russia when celebrities are being roasted in public. Neither the cruel pranks are like Sasha Baron Cohen or numerous YouTube channels out there. I guess because such a level of making fun of people is still not socially accepted in Singapore. Are there any advice how to make a joke? Same joke, uh, but sounds not re like really rude. Oh, uh... My favorite thing to do when you're trying to do sensitive jokes, give them the ingredients, but let them cook it themselves. So you're saying things that people can piece the puzzle together, but if they laugh, they're the racist in question because they thought about it without even me insinuating it. You're racist. You all are racist. Thank you for coming to my show. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and here's the Instagram. And let me know in the comment section below what kind of jokes you usually make with your friends. That was Max and here's the... See ya! Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. Stay safe. Thanks a lot, daddy. You're welcome, mommy. <laughs> <laughs>